there's there's scarf oh my god dude this play is massive this thunder wave please <laughs> going on y'all so in today's matches we're gonna be using this super crazy team that i kind of just came up with for the end of regulation app so i mean i'm kind of you know getting a little tired of regulation app uh i don't feel super motivated to team build right now and so like i kind of recognize that this team is not like tip top like obviously gonna win every match you know but like if you play it well uh it can definitely you know do some some pretty crazy things and get some good results right so uh talking about the team uh the main core in some sense is kind of like sylveon gudra um sylveon gudra and sonora dragapult i guess like i mean i like to think of gloom as being uh, central to the team as I as I noted <laughs> in one of the matches but you know like the the main thing is that if you look at this team you have two different really strong forms of offense that can't be ignored or else they'll start like kind of rolling away with the game which is Dragapult and Sylveon and then you have uh, two different forms of I guess like defense you might say that if they're not respected can also roll away with the game that being Gudra and Gloom you know Gudra as normal Gudra things that we're all used to you know we we're used to seeing Gudra it does Gudra things shelter body press heavy slam <laughs> however Gloom if somebody does not respect Gloom uh, can click Leech Seed Strength Sap Sleep Powder and Toxic and start casually chipping away at the team, uh, the opposing team, while becoming really hard to take out. So you have two defensive threats that can roll away with the game, two offensive threats that can roll away with the game, and then two Pokemon that are really good at supporting and making it hard for your opponent to do what they want to do. Uh, Umbreon having the, you know, Snarl, the priority baby allies that you can click over and over, the Thunder Wave and the Foul Play. Um, and then Incineroar, obviously doing Incineroar things with safety goggles, right? So it's it turned out to be a really interesting team that that can actually function really well. Um, the only changes that I made to the team since you know originally conceiving the idea was we took substitute off Gloom for Sleep Powder because I just felt like it makes Gloom more positionally useful than. Um, kind of just like feeling like it has to sit on the field and try to do things right. Um, I mean, it's usually still sitting on the field, but like having sleep powder instead of sub, like it's a big difference. Um, and then, you know, Dragapult having that really fast punching power and, um, you know, Dragon Darts doing pretty uncomfortable amounts to things like Raging Bolt and, you know, moving faster than Urshifu, etc. Uh, unless they have Scarf, but you know, you also have Sylveon, so like, a lot of the threats, Dragpole and Sylveon can both deal with extremely well. And, um, I guess the last thing to say before we jump into the matches is something I've talked about is that I think the combination of the three moves of Fire, Terror Blast, Psy Shock, and Hyper Voice cover literally everything that Sylveon needs, because you have that really strong Fairy Stab damage to do, uh, strong damage into like dragons you know urshifus things like that you have psy shock to do physical damage and to hit things like psychic types which sylveon does not like um and then you also have the fire terror blast which is a great defensive pivot and great damage into other things that sylveon doesn't like like gold Dango, right so by having this combination of moves you're pretty much able to hit everything in the format for some sort of significant amount of damage and uh get into the positions you need to so really fun team uh, i hope you guys enjoy the matches and i'll be you know still releasing some teams throughout the month but i'm not super pressed on like making a 10 month 10 team rental video you know so i'm excited for eggy i'll tell you guys that whatever it is but 
Hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for tuning in. I don't have trick room. I'm just kind of bull. Yeah, 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 I, I can, uh, I can really make that work. If anything, I should have brought something that's not gloom. I'll have to remember to maybe, uh, click a little slower next time. say who's this gloom character but no this guy's just bold all right so ensign I actually think the risk reward on just not going for a double protect was pretty high here. So I probably should have just not protected. They should fake out Sylveon. Yeah. So ultimately, I think a double protect is a good play. Um, that makes sense. I would have really liked to actually go for the, uh, you know, getting, getting going. So it would have been nice to shelter for sure. Pick my game. They should, ooh, not move first. You go for a farting shot. So let's see. That makes sense. Attack is heightened, a little bit scary. I think we're playing this decently well though. Like, the only misplay I've made so far is just not getting off that first shelter. Like, they should be afraid of me clicking protects. Uh, they'll actually switch and then probably acrobatics.
So let's see. We should see. Uh, yeah, flying Terra. Or Fairy Terra. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. So they're gonna acrobatics. At least they should. Shelter again. Keep getting our defenses up. Then let's see. A little annoying. Go for shelter. So, you know, this is Gudra things, but we're doing what we can. Um I mean, we know that they're just gonna switch out next turn if I do this, but they should go after that, get a KO, and then put Udra to sleep, and then switch out. Ooh, that did nothing. That sucks. All right, I think we're gonna lose this. I have a chance, though. I have an idea. I just don't like it. That's kind of scary. All right, so here's what I need to ask myself. I might have thrown there though. This comes down to if Psy Shock can KO. Okay. We wake up, all right. Body press does some. All right, so we can win this. We basically have to Body press again, leech seed them. Mm -hmm. 
I'm expecting them to dragon dance again. Yeah. So we go for body press again. Doesn't KO, unfortunately. Let's click. I think we ha I, I do think we have a really good chance of winning this. Okay, so they make the right play. And then parting shot. No. Okay. So they are playing well. Let's click. Yep. So parting shot is the right play. They're playing very well. It's definitely going to complicate things. Looking at the condition of their health though, I think we just win. So this is fine. Bringing our ace in the hole now. I think we always win. Especially considering that their Draco Meteor didn't even do like half last time, right? So yeah, there's, I, I mean like I really just don't think there's anything they can do, like barring me missing a bunch of times, which definitely can happen. Um, we're pretty much in the clear. So let's see who they fake out. I wanted that. You just need this Leaf Seed. All right, so that's GG. Big unforge. Nice. All right, GG's. <laughs> that is definite GG's. little ggs this little gloom i do actually think that the combination of solion gloom and Gudra is really good because 
Gudra is a setup that needs to be respected um, because of its offense plus bulk. Um, Gloom is a setup that needs to be respected because it can just eat away at your opponent's team if they don't do anything about it. Um, and so, like, they're two different types of things that need to be respected at the same time and can become unstoppable. Um, Gudra's slightly more unstoppable, Gloom slightly more rolly, uh, and then Sylveon just having that punching power, which, again, like, if they don't respect it, so, <laughs> an Umbreon or Dragapult, but... What up, Joder? Okay. Um... How many Joders does it take to Yoder, you know what I'm saying? I don't hate this lead. And then... Either this or this. What up, Joder, though? Hope you're doing well, my guy. <laughs> How many Joders does it take the Yoda, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Flutter Chi, I expected. Um, it's kind of why I felt like Incineroar was a slightly better lead, because it forces the Chi to Terra. So I'll give him a little Yoder. They are going to Terra Chi you, so... They're going for the Terra Dark, I'm assuming. Yep. I'd really appreciate if they didn't go for Snarl, but I probably would expect them to. I still think Sylveon puts on a lot of pressure. So my best play this turn was to Flare Blitz the Flutter and to go for... Well, that's fine. Yeah, okay, so I made the right play. Technically. That's trash. Luckily we'll get a KO here. I definitely did not make the right ring outs though. So let's see. They bring out a whole lot of squirts in the dirge. 
should be okay. I think this is a really risky play. We do live. Alright, so that should just win us the game. Sylveon dies. But... They did... Terra, so... Yeah, we're fine. We just bring out Gudra. And then... I mean, technically, we have to... There's no... The, you, you can't get out of this, right? Because if you protect, you're, you're screwed. So, we always just body press Dragon Darts GG's. The Dragon Darts probably just KOs anyways. So, yeah, you're screwed. Like, that... You just get dragon darts, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't gonna work anyways, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a good read. I, I knew they were gonna go for the close combat, but there was also a chance that they went for, like, aqua jet dragon darts, so. Yeah. They're gonna try to take this win from us, though. They said, excuse me, my guy? They said, excuse me? <laughs> Darkris. Ooh, um... I really don't know how to make heads or tails of this. This is kind of a scary team. We'll, we'll pull up, pop out, drop out, boys. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Hmm. The slug is not terrible here. Like, if we just led, like, in sin slug. Started setting the slug up. And then brought, like, Sylveon. And Umbreon? I mean, to be honest, I kind of feel like there's ways in which Gloom could just win us this game on its own. But we would have to Terra in, in order to do that. And I don't feel ultra confident in that. If we were going to bring Gloom, we would have to not bring Sylveon. Or Incineroar. We ought to, yeah, we would have to either bring not bring Incineroar or Sylveon. So. I'm just going to try to like make use of the whole team in some sense, but like... I do think we probably could have left out Sylveon, if anything. It just wouldn't have... It feels like it wouldn't have really helped me win to do so. This lead, I more or less expected in some way or another. I'm not that surprised. Speed heightened. Um, let's just go for shelter. Go for fake out. P 
please don't give me static. They don't. They give me how. We can bulk up faster than you, so I don't really know what to tell you. Um, let's shelter again. Let's... I actually kind of would have liked to go on the offensive this turn. Um, I was thinking about clicking knockoff into... I'm pretty sure parting shot goes through that because burning bulwark is a fake boy move. Yeah. Let's bring out Sylveon so we can start putting on some pressure. Like, clicking Snarl would be fun, but I kind of feel like this is more important. So we click Shelter again. Hide your voice. And we are gaming. So they'll switch out. I don't really think that's a good play. In fact, it literally doesn't make sense. But it's fine. Okay, so let's see. Bampa Guzzy. So we go body press. And I don't see why we wouldn't just type this. Yep. Ooh, um, okay, so something could happen here that I wouldn't like. That, yeah, oh god, that's so bad. Unless they have a Moongus in the back, that's really bad. but they are in a pretty bad position. And they also now can't burn me, so that's actually kind of good. If we're being honest, it's actually kind of good. And then they have comb piece, so... All I'm saying is, what if your name was Vampaguzzy, my name? Nah. We're gaming, though. Big damage. Big Vampa Guzzy. Big Vampa Guzzy. 
Okay, so just because I know we're gonna win this, we're bringing out Umbreon right now. Right now. Please don't cancel. <laughs> I'm begging you, don't cancel. Okay. Nice. Tringus? Hold on, Tringus. Alright, GG's. Nice. Whole lot of Tringus. Out of body press and Barbadoo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steam kind of slaps, my guy. Steam kind of slaps. All right. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll even get to use Gloom again. <laughs> Looks like we have a pretty high rank opponent here. They're probably like this low rank person in their freaking cheese team. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Um, this is kind of scary for being honest. Like, I don't, I don't have amazing leads into this. I think one of the best things I can do is lead like. Umbreon, Solion, if we're being honest. I think that's a pretty solid lead. And then... Well, actually I think... Solion and Cineroar is kind of my best lead. With Umbreon... In the back... Why is Umbreon good? Um, how is Umbreon better than certain things? I think is the question I want to ask myself. Hmm. Like, there's something about it that I feel like this is the best. But I also feel like Gudra can do things. So let's see. Yeah, that I kind of expected. Go Sylveon in Sin. The nice thing about this is we can Terry and we can scary. I do kind of expect them to have a covert cloak here, so I don't necessarily think I'm making the right play. I also think Snarl is kind of a good play, but like not really. Um, I think you're more likely to click Heat Wave. They do uh, go for overheat. Okay. So, well played on my part. This should KO, given that they have the Beads of Ruin. So, good. And then, we just kind of have to figure it out from there. <laughs> okay, um, let's do this. Actually, hold on. Um. Let's do, yeah, let's do this, and this. 
Because I think it's more likely... Okay. That's kind of annoying. Um, hopefully they don't double target that spot. They do. Wow, that's so ballsy. Um. Hmm. Let's bring out Umbreon. We did technically just use foul play, which doesn't really help. But we can go for Hyper Voice now. Or I mean, you know what I'm saying. Um, let's just go for Hyper Voice. And baby doll eyes. Yeah, so that I expected. We go for baby doll eyes. We go for stomping. We live, because we clicked baby doll eyes. We get good damage. We lose some HP. And then we kind of do have to figure this out now. Though. So that is something. We go into Dragon Bolt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We go into Dragon Bolt. Um, it is the case that they haven't uh hmm. I'm wondering what is technically my best play here, right? Because they haven't terrored yet. If they have the right terror, this is really bad for me, right? So like I kind of think that this is my best play, and then we just go for another baby doll eyes. Okay, so that I was actually afraid of, um, and we can lose because of that. So... They do go for the Fairy Terra, which I was kind of expecting. I should have gone for Snarl, unfortunately. But I do think there's a pretty good chance that we can win this still. So... Either way, this turn, I think, technically I want to go for Snarl. Uh, Thunder Wave would be kind of nice, though. So we're, we're playing this really well, but we're actually like not really in a winning position, if you ask me. So let's go for... Thunder wave. Oh, there's there's scarf. Oh my god, dude, this play is massive. This thunder wave, please. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, um... Because we have inner focus, I think my best play is to click Phantom Force Foul Play.
So that I expected. They are actually paralyzed, which is amazing. We go for foul play, big damage. Nice. Dude, we're winning. <laughs> like, we are we are legit winning this right now. Uh, I actually think that going for baby doll eyes is kind of important right now, just for the survivability factor. Um, so let's... Yeah, let's baby doll eyes them. Oh wait, yeah, I'm an idiot. I didn't need to do that. Yeah, okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> the rudeness, the absolute rudeness. Couldn't you win if you're my opponent? I would play it out. I, I. Okay, I should have clicked Snarl, but... <laughs> oh my god. I, I love the fact that we get to include this bonus match since I didn't play this one live, so... Great, dude. Freaking wonderful. <laughs> I look forward to posting this tomorrow for sure. <laughs>